Oh. That is oh. a fat wallet. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves Guide, and today we're at the second abandoned storage unit that we picked up this week. Now this one has a very interesting story. So this facility actually had to go through some type of legal battle. They wouldn't go into further detail with us in order to sell this unit. So once I heard the story, this was 100% going to be my unit. We paid 50 bucks for this unit. There doesn't look to be much in there, but there's gotta be something if they went through a legal battle. So without further ado, let's get digging. So as you can see, there's not much in this unit, but there has to be some reason they went through a legal battle in order to sell this. We gotta find that reason. I wouldn't have been able to live it myself if I didn't buy this. So let's see here. Ooh, the ancient Chinese fan. Probably just a repro souvenir type thing, but you never know. That's a fancy word, repro. Sound like a pro. Yeah. The license plate, oops. Get off the wood. An old Massachusetts license plate from July, 1988. Dolphins color. <laughs> well, they got some old looking books in here too. It's photos. Whoa. What's in there? Just letters. How old is this photo album? I mean, these are, I don't want to show their pictures on here, but these pictures are very, very old looking. Let's see here. This also looks like photo albums. These pictures are actually in black and white. They're even older than those, so really old photo albums. I just really want to know the reasoning behind why they had to go through so much to sell this unit. There's got to be some type of hidden secret in here. There just has to be. Are these records? These are a couple of records. Let's see. Elvis? Is that Elvis? Elvis yeah. Costello. Oh. In the... Whoa. <laughs> And then we got this guy. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend like I know, because I don't. We got some more books, some Mozart, tapes, nothing like that, guys. Looks like an old chest down there, so, I mean, an old, like, chest board game, not a chest T. So, doesn't look like the secret, whatever the secret is in there. Let's look in here. Oh. That is a fat wallet. <laughs> Whoa. What do we got in here? Oh my god. Jeez. Checks. Paper. Lottery cards. I see like bank cards. But I don't see anything. No cash at least. That's an interesting looking wallet. Yeah, it did look interesting. There's some cards in there. There might be gift cards, but. You never know, there could be money in here too. Like we have to really rip this sucker apart when we get in the car. And we'll let you know in a recap. From what I can see, I don't look like I see nothing in there, but we we'll definitely look further than that. What do we got here? Fluorescent lantern? Cool. Envelopes full of money? No, they're empty. From what we can see. Yeah, they're empty. Darn it. We got an award for manpower, Washington, D.C. in 1997. That's almost as old as me. We got, let's see here. Motorized coin bank. Cool. I don't hear no change in it, but we might use this. We've been using an old jar to store all the change we get <laughs> from storage units and things like that, so we might use something like that. That's pretty cool. Look how dusty it is. That's too. what's like, in rolls. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty cool. This stuff definitely been here for quite a while. You can tell just by looking at it. What is this? A little present. Washington DC area, 1,097,000. Look at that. It's like a little gold watch. Huh. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. I'll look that up when we get in the car. Another award. Here we go. Looks like an old jewelry box, maybe? Another watch of some sort. It's like really old and beat up, but I don't see a date or anything like that on it. Seven Jewels is on there. I don't know if that's a brand or what. We'll have to look that up. What's in here? Another jewelry box. Nothing. Darn. That's all right. What do we got here? What is this? Is this like a ruler? It's a ruler with DC address on it. Okay, it's supposed to be jewelry, but it's a ruler. Looks 
like an old answering machine in here. Um, let's see. Another that's some type of like suspenders, I think. I don't know. Other than that guys, paperwork in here. Put that in there. Throw the lock in there too. Alright, stick. Let's look at the well, let's see what's in here actually. This looks like so old, whatever it is. Look at that box. Seen by the day, boss. Huh, what is this? This is an old speaker. Panasonic on it, yeah. It looks to still be in a styrofoam, so it might it's probably a really old car speaker or something like that. I don't really know, but we'll definitely look into it once we get it out of that poor box. Uh, let's see. Is that a car radio too? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it looks like. So you probably got a car speaker and car radio. Really old too, I'm sure. Start. What's in this one? No books. more books. No more books. But a lot of other random things. I see envelopes, notes, things of that nature. We have found hidden money in that in the past. Like a lot. So that's going to be a box we're going to have to save for when we get home. Paperwork. Let's look at this one. Ugh. What do we got in here? What is it? Another award. This guy got a lot of awards. I'm proud of you, sir. Should have got a storage unit payment award. <laughs> you didn't get a reward for that. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of random envelopes again. This looks like paperwork most likely, but you never know what kind of hidden treasures you can find in there. Let's see what's in the clothes one here. It looks like dirty work clothes, honestly. As much as I hate to say it, that's what it appears to be. A fitted sheet, and there's some old VHS tapes in there. What is this, a recorder? Uh, a recorder. <laughs> PDSD. What is this old book? Just looks like paperwork. So, dirty work, clothes, and paperwork. Let's try to slide these boxes out. Oh, is that funny? What? Is that funny? <laughs> All right. I'm just running. There he is. Look over here. Is this all cologne? This looks like brand new bottles of Halston or Halston Z14 cologne. It's got a $32.50 price tag on it from JC Penney's. And there's another one. This one's Z14. This one has a $44 price tag on it from JC Penney. So these are empty. This one's also brand new with a $44 price tag on it. So that could potentially be $100 in cologne right there. Just the cologne can maybe double the money. Who knows? What do we have in here? What kind of weirdness? A vegetable brush? A cheese grater? Advil, they're probably expired in World War II. <laughs> Some Advil. Dishes, forks, knives. This looks like the kitchen box. This is probably going to be your bedding box. Expires December of 2002. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is just a bunch of blankets and stuff that'll probably just be donated. What, those blankets? Yeah. Definitely don't look too great. Pots and pans. Is this in here? Yeah. Favorware, Generations, Nonstick Cookware. It's a 10 piece set, so looks to be taped, but it's an X tape, so that means they taped it up themselves. So I don't know if it's all in there or not. Open it. Let's open it. No, this is the real stuff. So, a bunch of cookware stuff. I'm running out of space. Let's see. Let's keep this stuff over here. Let's see what's in this box. More clothes and bedding, it looks like. Yeah, there's nothing but clothes in that box, unfortunately, all the way down to the ground. Then we got these last couple over here. 
supposed to be all paperwork prescription so as far as I can see junk and in here more books just what I wanted which probably is gonna be a bunch of old junk so unless there's some hidden treasures in one of these boxes I don't really know what the whole legal dispute over this unit was all about but we're gonna try to take it all home we'll go through it and we'll let you know in a recap if there was any hidden treasure so we'll see you then all right guys so let's do a recap on this unit so there was a few interesting things in here but not really too too much unfortunately not very many hidden treasures so first things first these three boxes are brand new they're still dusty but once we clean them up these are selling for between 10 and 15 dollars a piece on ebay so yeah say we make 10 bucks a piece on these that'll be 30 dollars back on a 50 dollar unit the little coin bank thing is brand new it's never been opened it's really really old it cost about twenty dollars when we looked up the upc but we're probably going to keep this because like i said we've been needing something we've been storing them in like a jar they came out of a unit all the random change we find so we'll use this to put all the change that we find from units make it a little easier on ourselves. so right there i mean that's we spent 50 bucks on the unit we'll make 30 back that's 20. good enough for me we had fun and I want somebody that's into books. I'm not a book person. I'm not a reader, honestly. I don't like reading. But there was a whole box. We kept this box. Now, this box is still over here. But I took a couple out. A whole thing of books that are extremely old. Some ranging back to like 1913. Over 100 year old books. And I just don't know if they're really collectible. I tried looking them up. But I couldn't really find information. The stuff I did find varied so much. That I couldn't come up with a real price. Like, some of them would say 99 cents. And I go to the next site on the same book. And it's like $140. So I'm like... Is it worthless or is it worth something? But here's one of them. It's the book, what does it say? The Brook Careth by George Moore. But they all look like this. I mean, look at the size. You can see there, it's not meant to look old. That is actually legitimately that old. And let me see if the date is in this one. Give me one second. I don't know, yeah, this book right here is from 1916. It has the publication date right there. So it's over 100 years old. I just don't know if this kind of stuff's collectible. It's just not something I've ever been into. And here we got a couple more too. Again, they're all the newest one in this book um, was like a World War II era. I think it was like 1941, but most of them are from the 19 teens, I guess if that makes sense. So, 100 years old or just about 100 years old. What was this? Just the shipping envelopes? No, or no, this is the. Bed sheet, I think. Yeah, it's a brand new bed sheet. We found envelopes in another one too. It look like it doesn't that look like just Manila shipping envelopes from a distance. It even looks like the envelope folder right there. But just a brand new bed sheet. Like I said, it's probably something for a couple bucks at the flea market. It was just brand new, so I figured why not? Oops, hold on. This little clock thing, I just don't know about. I mean, it's pretty banged up. Obviously, it does not look like it's in that great a condition. But since some of the stuff we found in this unit is so old. I didn't want to just toss it and make an assumption that it was worthless. Unfortunately, there's nothing written on this anywhere besides the thing on the watch itself. It says, um, what, seven, yeah, seven jewels. That's it. That's all the information we have to go off. So imagine searching seven jewels clock or watch. I mean, there's millions of options. So I don't know. A lot of mystery. This little thing I just kept because, again, I'm not sure. A lot of this stuff in this unit is just maybe it's a cool antique. Maybe it's junk. I really don't know. But it was in a box like this, and it just says Washington, D.C., $3 million. And that was 97 on it, so it's not too, too old. But maybe it's worth something to a collector. Some of this stuff we might just put up as on auction on eBay to see what people are willing to pay for it. Because other than that, I don't know what to do with it. Hopefully, you guys can give me some information down in the comments. This, just a brand new thing of suspenders. I mean, I don't think they're expensive. I didn't see a brand anywhere. I didn't really look either. We just tossed it aside. So they're a good brand. Maybe a good amount. If not, maybe a couple bucks again. Flea market type thing. The car speaker. The box is absolutely disgusting, obviously. But the speaker is in perfect condition. It's never. Been, I don't think it's ever been used. There's nothing on it. There are no signs of wear whatsoever. So we'll have to look that one up as well. We also have this 7-in-1 fluorescent lantern. It has a $25 price tag on it. But I bet it's not really worth that now anyway. But five or ten bucks maybe probably five to be honest with you but maybe ten we'll look and see if it's worth selling on ebay first we just had a lot to dig through these last couple days so i haven't had much of a chance to do price checking yet but we'll definitely look into that an old july of 88 license plate i don't really know i know some people collect license plates so i don't know if it was worth keeping i just didn't want to throw it out but it has lmg on it for you gun people that's kind of cool yeah these couple records that were in here just three Clifton, what is that name? Shamir, Shamir, 
I don't know. But whatever it is, it's still in, in the plastic, or part of it is. This part's ripped on this side, but it's still in the plastic. The one that trolled me at first, because like I say sometimes in the videos, guys, like you guys can see this stuff clearly, but I'm like on the other side of the camera. It's so dark. All I saw was Elvis, so I was like, <gasps> it's going to be Elvis Presley record. I mean, which are pretty valuable, some of them. But it was, and who was it? Elvis Costello. I never heard of him, so. But then again, I'm only 24, and I'm not, probably haven't heard of a lot of people on records. And then this record, which is actually a, oops, two, it has, both of them are in there, so. Who is this anyway? Does this even have a name on it? There's no name on it. Somebody tell me what this is in the comments. I know somebody's gonna know. And lastly, oops, the only other thing we kept was also the destroyed box, but is this the radio or the speaker? Speaker. No, is it the speaker? I already showed the car radio. An old speaker that's also, I think, goes with that radio. I'll we'll take it out of the box, of course. But other than that, guys, I still, to this moment, have no idea what the whole legal dispute was of selling this unit. I was thinking I was going to find something along the lines of, like, the guy getting arrested, a weapon, something like that. That's the reason I went all out on the unit. I mean, I thought I was going to end up paying more than 50 I really did. I was ready to go to 100 or more. But... I'm glad I didn't. There really was not anything in there that showed that it should have suffered a legal dispute, and I have no idea why, but that's what they were talking about, so I was excited, but what can you do? It was a fun treasure hunt, I'll give you that. It was really exciting the whole time digging through it, thinking that the next box would have this, next box would have that. It was fun, but we didn't really find much in it, but oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up, and if you're not already, Hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day. Remember, this is only the second of two more. We've got two more now. we got four units this week. Two more Steward Junior videos coming out next two days. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell and you're ready for those. If you want to follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.